Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Doug with Life is Shirty. I'm back again for another sales update. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've had a sales update. Uh, but uh, to be honest with you, things have actually been really slow lately. Really slow with sales. I've been taking pictures, been listing, but uh, it seems though uh, my views have gone down for my items. And I don't know what's going on. So I'm trying sales. I'm trying best offers. I'm trying auctions. Uh, but the sales for eBay right now are pretty slow. So uh, I'm hoping to change that here in the next few weeks. But I do have a few sales to show you. Just to show you some of the things that um, have sold for me lately. Maybe they'll help you out. Uh, also in this video I have uh, another bonus. Uh, a Mercury item that sold. If you watched my last sales update, uh, you heard me talk about Mercury a little bit. And also uh, with this, with the downtime with eBay, I've taken some time to try to learn how to sell on Instagram. That's right, you can sell on Instagram. A lot of people do it, and uh, I've hit that real hard the past three weeks, and I sold my first item on Instagram, so I'll show you what I sold uh, there and how I did it. So, um, but getting started right away with this video, um, here, uh, I mean, these items are, the you know, like I always say, these are some of the items I always... Uh, pick because this is why I started at these vintage uh, uh, sports items. So it's the St. Louis Cardinals, um, Mark McGuire nylon jersey by Majestic. Uh, Majestic is the big, you know, official MLB uh, genuine merchandise uh, brand. So anything Majestic with sports names on it, and sports teams on it, they're always good picks. They're always they're always going to sell, and they'll always sell for decent money. So uh, there you go. Uh, the next is, uh, this is just a cool t-shirt I picked up, you know, any unique t-shirts you find, um, you know, you know, pick them up, or you know how much t-shirts cost, anywhere from 50 cents to $1.50 or so, so this was, uh, let's get a close up of this one here, look, Time Traveler Marty McPrime, so it's a, kind of a, a twist between uh, Transformers and uh, Back to the Future there. And uh, I think I paid a buck for this and uh, sold it for $14.99. So good return there. Um, here's a Pendleton shirt. And <clears throat> I have this one on here for one reason. It's just to show you something to do. Like uh, there are certain items. You get them home and you realize, well, if you're in a hurry or something, you realize that they're really messed up. And you probably shouldn't be selling it or you shouldn't have. Uh, but a lot of times I will... Uh, I will, especially with an item like Pendleton, I will still put it up and I'll put it on an auction. Uh, so I started at 99 cents with uh, 610 shipping, which is the new flat rate padded envelope uh, price uh, to ship in that. And uh, I let the buyer decide how much this shirt was worth. And they decided it was worth 750 And I paid three bucks for the shirt. So didn't get a lot, but I didn't get nothing for it. So, uh, there are certain items that you get where you know you put them up there anyway and put them at 99 cents and just see what the buyer thinks see what they want to pay for it make sure you disclose all of the the um, the defects as you say I put pennies beside the defects to show the size of the holes and I must have been in a real hurry this day because there were several holes on here but you know nonetheless I got 750 for it and I'm happy with that so next is uh this is a brand, if you haven't heard of it, uh, I'd like to introduce it to you, Southern Tide. Um, it kind of goes along with uh, Vineyard Vines, uh, Lacoste maybe, uh, Southern Marsh, if you've ever heard of Southern Marsh. Those are uh, kind of preppy, real preppy um, clothing lines, and uh, they sell for really good money. So I found this for 3 bucks, Southern Tide, uh, dress shirt, casual dress shirt. It had just been dry cleaned, so the dry cleaner tags on them, and um, I had it up for forty nine ninety nine or a best offer, and I think I accepted a best offer of thirty eight dollars for it. So, pretty happy with that sale. Next is a item I got out of some of the bins where you pay by the pound for the shipping. I mean, for the uh, for the clothes, um, some khaki cargo shorts by Ralph Lauren Polo. Um, and they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I hadn't changed the shipping price on them yet to the new shipping. But, uh, you know, still a good return. I probably paid $1.50 for these. Um, you know, so I, I can't complain with that. 
Next is a uh, Fifth and Ocean. This is an item that my girlfriend picked. My girlfriend sells women's clothing on in her store, and um, she doesn't like selling sports stuff for for whatever reason. So when she sees stuff, she she gives it to me. So this is Fifth and Ocean, which is um, a brand that goes along with uh, Victoria's Secret. I think Victoria's Secret owns this brand, um, or vice versa. I'm not hip to my women's clothing, but. Um, so you need small items like this. I think we paid a buck for the shirt, and we sold it for eleven ninety nine. So simple T-shirts like this, I'll put it in the store for a real low price, and uh, you know, hopefully, it keeps people coming back and looking to see what I have later. So, um, just because you don't think you're going to get a high return off of something, if it's something like this that you know somebody will buy, you know, keep these small items in there for small return. Uh, you need those as well. Next, this was a great pick. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you've heard me talk about Memphis State. I do live in Memphis. Uh, Memphis State uh, Tigers are uh, now University of Memphis, so Memphis State does not exist anymore. For you know, formerly, uh, formally. Um, so anytime I see something with Memphis State, I know people still want items that say Memphis State on them. So this said Memphis State, the Tomb of Doom. Uh, we have a Coliseum here in Memphis, which is called the Pyramid. It's shaped like a pyramid. It's now Bass Pro Shop. Um, but at one point in time, the Memphis Tigers, starting in 1991, started playing basketball in the Pyramid. And so this is from the inaugural, inaugural year that they played uh, in the Pyramid. So I picked it for a dollar, sold it for $29.99, full asking price. Great sale, very cool item. Um, next, we have a uh, Ole Miss Rebels dress shirt. <clears throat> now, this is not an official logo for Ole Miss, but it does kind of resemble um, Colonel Rebel, who has been banned from the University of Mississippi for reasons I will not get into on an eBay eBay sales video. Um, but for it has been banned, but you know the traditionalists and the people who have grown up loving. University still love the logo of Colonel Rebel, so I knew this would be an easy sell. It's a very nice dress shirt, <clears throat> has the Colonel on there. I think I paid four dollars for the shirt, sold it for twenty nine ninety nine full asking price. So a great sale, and that's just this just comes with knowing some uh, uh, local history and uh, local info for schools. So I think uh, Oxford's about an hour and fifteen minutes away from here. So uh, we get a lot of this stuff here in Memphis. So next we have a Patagonia fleece vest. Uh, Patagonia, as you know, is a very popular name brand. Uh, whoop, Patagonia hat. I got a Patagonia hat right now. Uh, I found this in the bins for like 25 cents, so I kept it for myself. So, oh well. Um, very popular brand. People love Patagonia. It's very well-made clothes. Um, I put this twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping, you know, at an auction. I was hoping it would go for a little bit more, uh, but I knew I would get definite money after seven days for this putting it on auction. But can't be mad with the return. I think I paid three dollars for it. <clears throat> Sold it for twenty nine ninety nine uh, plus five ninety shipping. So uh, great sell there. Uh, always look out for Patagonia. And the last eBay item I have is this Tabasco brand uh, kind of nautical sea life boating shirt. Uh, you've heard me talk about Tabasco and uh, I know I had one commenter say he passed these. He's never even thought twice about picking up Tabasco shirt. Uh, but I've proven more than once that these things sell for great money. I paid $2 for the shirt. Sold for $29.99 full asking price. My next Tabasco shirt, I'm thinking about maybe even bumping the price up even more to see if I can sell it uh, at a higher price. But uh, they love the Tabasco shirts. Always pick up Tabasco shirts. So um, next I have, I'll go ahead and show you my Mercury sale. I had a bunch of board shorts and swim trunks that I found in the bins, in the, uh, like the pay by the pound bins. And they're super, super light. So is not even a question 
of whether or not I should pick them up. I mean, it, when I think I did the math, it comes out to be like 21 cents a pair, something ridiculous like that. So I picked these up and I, I loaded, a, listed a bunch of them on Mercury, and I had a pair sell a couple days ago. Ten dollars plus four dollars shipping, and I cannot argue with that. So once again, no fees on Mercury. Uh, you know, they buyer pay for the shipping. Ten dollars all pro, you know all goes to my account. So uh, great sell there. And uh, again, I would suggest looking into this app, Mercury. Somebody tried to correct me on the uh, pronunciation of Mercury, but um. I think I was saying Mercury, like the planet, but it's Mercury. I know, totally butchered it, didn't I? Well, anyway, Mercury is the name of the app, and I would highly suggest looking into it. If it's something you want to try, a different avenue you want to go down, instead of just trying eBay, this is uh, a good one to go to. And Poshmark, my girlfriend sells on Poshmark, uh, which seems to mostly be geared towards women's clothing, so... Uh, Poshmark is another one you might want to try. It's P-O-S-H-M-A-R-K, if I'm not mistaken. So the last item I'm going to show you is an item that I sold on Instagram. Now, I heard people selling on Instagram, so I wanted to look into it. I had an account uh, for my thrifting and reselling, but I wasn't really pushing it to sell items on Instagram until I saw other people doing it. And so I looked into it. I watched YouTube videos. And I pushed it real, real hard. And uh, here's the first item I sold on Instagram. It was a boys size 6 vintage Tommy Hilfiger jacket. Really cool jacket. I was asking for 30. You see here, I have just hashtag. You just, if you're going to do this, you just need to, one, I would suggest um, following other people that sell items similar to you and just kind of watch what they do. Uh, watch the hashtags that they use and um, watch how they advertise their items. Um, here, uh, you see all the hashtags I use. I was asking $30, um, free shipping. Uh, I instruct them to either DM me, direct message me, or comment to let me know they're interested in purchasing it. And what I did is I went into PayPal and created a an invoice and sent it to his email address and he paid me. Now what's really cool about this guy is he he is from the Netherlands so he had no problem he told me to invoice him for forty dollars he would help pay for the shipping because it was going to the Netherlands. So I invoiced him for forty dollars and he paid for it and uh, this guy also happens to be an Instagram seller as well. Uh, this is him right here the Zuzu store uh, if you want to check him out and see the the items that he sells well he said once he gets the item he's gonna shout me out to all his followers he has over 8,000 followers and that is super cool I'm hoping I get some followers from that uh, right now I got a little over 300 followers on my Instagram account and I've only been pushing it real hard for about three and a half to four weeks so I think that's great just for that little time and I sold my first item so I'm happy with that and if you see how I did it here uh, you know, you got comments on it, and the guy messaged, you know, he DM'd me, and he commented, said he wanted it for his little boy. So I sent him the invoice, and I put a comment saying the sale was pending, and then I put sold here at the bottom once he paid, and then uh, I put sold here at the very top to let people know that this item has been sold. And I got so many followers uh, from this item, it's incredible. It has 142 likes. People love vintage Tommy Hill figures. So if you don't plan on selling on Instagram, definitely look out for the 90s style Tommy Hill figure uh, clothing items when you go thrifting. They will sell on eBay just as well as they will uh, anywhere else. So that's another item to look out for. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about uh, what I'm doing here with Instagram. And if you guys want to follow me, there's my username, Life is Shirty. Give me a follow and I'll follow you back. Maybe send me a direct message saying you follow me because of this video. Just let me know because I'll follow you back. No problem. And uh, this kind of forces you to communicate with your sellers too. Like you talk to them and then the messages that I got for, I actually got three messages for this item and uh, it only, it worked out for this guy. It forces you to talk to them, you know. So 
Uh, I like that interaction as well. I also had a girl who was trying to buy it. Uh, didn't work out for her. And uh, she said she was going to shout me out on her YouTube channel. So I don't know if she's got a big YouTube channel or what. But I appreciate her if she actually does it. That's super cool. Um, so just to get a look at the Instagram page. Here's the Instagram uh, account that I have. You see you got to put kind of three pictures into one. Uh, so I have a uh, an app that does that for me. I let them know where I'm from. I got a hashtag for my available items. I instruct them to DM, DM me or comment to purchase. I got a link to my eBay store here. And I've also got a link to my lifeisshirty.com store, uh, which they can look at as well to buy items. So really excited about how this is going, and I can't wait to get a strong following for this. So this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, hopefully I can get some more sales and get busier um, so I can do more sales update videos. And I still want to do more haul videos, and I want to do another video on my uh, one flip at a time challenge, uh, but I haven't done that yet. Um, but it is coming. Um, but, um, yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, I really appreciate everybody, and like I said, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, have fun thrifting and reselling, and uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.